Earlier this month, hundreds of scientists declared that climate change is no longer a distant threat. It has moved firmly into the present. We talked in the last video about the risk factor in humans due to the air pollution and the link to which is provided in the description below. Now in this part, I will be telling you some of the essential measures one could practically take to cope up with this alarming level of the rise in the air pollution. So first I begin with all the things that can be done indoor, in the living or in the working area. And first is keep your windows and doors closed during the peak hours that is from the 6 p.m. to the 9 or the 10 a.m. in the morning. Secondly, is the use of the various filter sheets that are easily available nowadays and we too will provide the link for the same. So they can be used in all the ventilations because these block the particulate matter very effectively. The other very effective measure that can be practiced is the use of the indoor plants because these metabolize the harmful gases present inside. And there are so many species that are available, but few I would like to suggest is the use of the aloe vera, the English ivy, areca palm, bamboo palm, money plant, dracaena, purple buffalo, the rubber plant, lady palm, and many more. You can also use the electric air purifiers, uh, though the effectiveness isn't much validated. Yes, but its industry is hyping at a very good pace. But when it comes to the outdoor, I personally suggest that move out if it's utterly urgent. Even though you need to go out, do not exercise. Yes, mark my words, do not do any kind of vigorous task because as you inhale deeper, the particulate matter along with the harmful gases reach to the more peripheral part of the lungs which worsen the situation. Next is the use of the mask over the mouth and nose but the normal surgical or the cloth mask don't work here. So better use N95 mask and that to see certified and also ensure that it exactly fits on your face so the extra air don't pour in else it will be useless. There are other modern gadgets like the nostril air filter that fits up in nose and prevent the inhalation of the toxic and the injurious particulate matter. The technology industry is being set up uh, at work on such devices but I believe that it is more important for us to save the nature. The path will take today will decide our future and we need to choose wisely. Yes, we need mass but we also need this earth to total walk run on the footsteps of our ancestors and to protect this beautiful planet for the future generations. So with the message that prevention is better than a suffering, hope you will contribute your part too. Please drop your suggestions that can help us to improve the situation and also tell us how can we make medical science reach up to you in the easiest way possible which can potentially help you in bringing up a difference in your health and living. Thank you so much.